Before the video begins, YouTube is telling me that 99.6% of people who are watching my videos aren't currently subscribed. So if you're one of those 99.6% of people who have recently watched my videos, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. It will really mean the world to me. Anyway, enjoy the video. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video type of thing. The last one did really well. Right now it's got like over 750 views, which is insane. It's like my most viewed video in like a month. It's insane. And I don't know why I'm doing this. Well, anyway, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a mob foam, specifically Mumbo Jumbo's mob foam. Mob foam? Wow. Mob farm, which um isn't like exactly like it, because uh, it's like it in like all the circuitry but then the mobs fall down there and you go down here into all these hoppers and die to um fall damage then all of the resources get ch um going there so let's just demonstrate how this works and also i'm going to turn the shaders off real quickly because obviously it's uh, really difficult to see okay there we go shaders are off and let's turn on the mob farm so as you can see the water starts dispensing pushing all of the mobs going down oh my god there's a lot and then all of them fall down here into all of these. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that was very loud. And then they all go into this chest here. And as you can see, they're just piling in right now. And all the... Well, they're still coming. But all the hoppers are facing into these. So scary. And then they, um, all of these go into there. Alright, and now I think it's time to show you guys how to build this but first how it works basically there's a massive timer under here and then whenever this dispenser you hear it like that uh, there's actually nothing inside of here but then the observer there spots it powering a dispenser which is there and then when that one gets powered like that this observer spots that powers this one and go that same all the way down but obviously alternated like that so the water doesn't do any crazy stuff and then all the mobs get pushed off the edge into here and then they'll just go straight down here and plummet to their death so this is really neat it's really good uh mumbo jumbo actually has uh four of these like obviously one there one there one there and one there um all in one circuit but i'm gonna only um show you how to build all of this today which is quite a lot and then you could just duplicate it on each side so how to start building this is actually down at the bottom you're gonna want to place a double chest just like that and then seven hoppers all running into each other just like that one two three four five six seven cool and then what you want to do is come out this way six there we go and then do this for the same so like this make sure they're not going into that one they always need to be going into one so then all the items travel into this little line which goes directly into the chest then what you're going to want to do is locate the middle hopper for me it's this one and then go up 30 blocks so one why isn't this working one two three four five six and then all the way up 30 blocks 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so once you're at the 30 level, you're going to want to come out three. Just like that. Same on this side. This side. And this side. And then once you've done that, you basically will just want to go like this. So link all of the ends together to create a square. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and break all of these and then this massive pillar that you just created as well. And then once you've made this, you need to locate the middle of one end again. For me, it's this one. And then go out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when you're at the end, go up one, well, up, like, like this. So this is the seventh block right there. And then you do that, and then go up one, and then you place a slab on that like that. And basically you're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around, so it's like a massive square. we go so once you've got this platform don't forget to put the entire wall around oh 
also just whilst i'm placing these last few slabs uh these slabs are actually here uh to basically spawn proof these end bits so the mobs don't spawn on here because say if you left them um, a bit there mobs could spawn on here and you don't want that so make sure to put them uh, so make sure to put a slab on it and there we go done so once this entire thing is now done you just want to go ahead to one corner and build out one two three four five six seven so just like that and then you want to do the same here but this already counts as one so do six technically but it's still seven blocks just like that so there's seven going into corner and from the corner to there it's seven and then you just want to go make a little like kind of sharp edge just like that and you want to going to do that on each four side And then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and get a water bucket, just like this. And then you want to place a book, a paper, and you want to place water in each corner, just like this. And as you can see, I'll create this like small little diamond in the middle. But we want water going right to the edge, so you just want to go ahead to one edge here between. And you want to go ahead one block in, place water here, 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 and here. I'm going to do that on each side, so just like this, and then here, yeah. just like that. So now water will be covering each one of them, so no matter where a mob is, they'll always fall down and die. So once you've done all the water, you're just going to head to one bit, go like one, two, three. And then basically you want to place a slab there and then just break those blocks again. And also I'm just going to turn down my um, music a bit because this water is so damn loud right now. No, no, once this is done, you just want to go ahead to make sure that it's built in the middle. And then once you've got it in the middle, you just want to go ahead and build seven out each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Just like this. Now you just want to go ahead and basically do the kind of same thing that we did with uh, these bits or with the slabs and it's probably going to be a larger scale as well. Alright, so now this, that this is done, you just want to go ahead and break this and place a dispenser but so it's facing up. So you may just need to go underneath and then place a block there. So then you can place the dispenser facing up, just like that. And then what you just want to do is just place in a water bucket, just like that. Now once you've got your um, dispenser here, you just want to go ahead and build up three, just like that. And then go across one, and then place an observer upside down, just like that. So whenever something gets detected, it will power this. Just like that. And as you can see... You may as well just check here that all of these are fine. I'm just going to deactivate this so nothing else goes wrong. And I actually kind of made a mistake. because so we actually need a dispenser here with an empty bucket inside of it. Make sure that it's an empty bucket. You'll see why. Then you just want to go ahead and do the same. Build out seven um, each side. Just like this. And then just connect them all together just like this, like we did on the first one. And then after you've done this, you want to place a water bucket on top of that. So it spreads out just like that. And then you're going to want to repeat the process, build a dispenser facing down just like this. And then just make sure that it's facing downwards. You can um, see that. Let me just place a block there. And then make sure that it's facing down. Just like that. You can see that with the arrow that's facing down. And then obviously this will deactivate that. And then activate this. That is good. And then you just want to place a dispenser on top of there. Things should return back to normal. This is how it should look in the end. If not, you could just mess around with it. And then what you're going to want to do in here is place a water bucket. 
just like that. And then once again, I'm gonna place a diamond, just like these two, on top of here. And then once you've done with the diamond, you want to place three blocks up again, go across one, and then place an observer facing down. And then in this one, don't forget to place a um, empty bucket in here. And then you just want to gonna repeat this process until you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So it goes empty water, empty water, empty water, and then make sure that there's two empty at the top, and um, that both of these dispensers also have water buckets inside. So I'll just basically build all of this up over here real quick. Okay then, so I've stopped building here because I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. And on this one, the last two levels have no water on. So I'm just gonna build that bit just in case you guys got a bit confused. So from this um, sixth one, just want to build one, two, three. I accidentally destroyed that, so I'll just put some more water on. And then go across here and then place an observer. An observer? Wow, an observer facing down. If I can, there we go. Just like that. And then also you can once again test if everything's working. It is for me. So then I'll just place this dispenser back on here. Now make sure that this dispenser has a water bucket inside, like it would... Um, have before then you build this um pyramid out again just so going out seven so one two three four five six seven it's basically copying this again and then once you've done that again you basically uh, want to go up three again place this observer in break them again try not to break the observer so placing the observer and then placing this dispenser and instead of putting an empty bucket inside here put a water bucket inside and then you basically do this um, diamond again Once you've done that, you should have um, end up with two empty levels like that, and then water, empty, water, empty, water, empty, just like this one over here. Now I'm just gonna run this, um, and there's so many mobs. So let's just like, have a quick look at this because I'm actually really curious. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow! There's so many mobs here, mainly because I'm on a super flat world and there's no caves. But if, obviously, if you're playing survival, you probably won't be doing it on a super flat world. So what you're going to um, have to do is build up 128 blocks above here. And then AFK with the mob farm turned on. So mobs can only spawn uh, to you. But I'm just going to set the um, difficulty to peaceful right now. So all these disappear and then turn off this farm real quick. And then as you can see... There is a big thing here. This basically makes it lower than lights at level 6, I believe. Uh, so mobs can spawn. Um, so next we're going to build this entire thing and also this system here. Anyway, so next what you're going to want to do is build up 3 again. And then this is going to be a little bit weird, but you want to place an observer facing down again. And then a dispenser. But you don't have to put anything inside of this dispenser at all. And then usually we would go here, but now we need to go here. So make sure that it's kind of like that. So if you walk over it, you'll go directly up the dispenser, just like this. And also instead of going seven to there, we want to go 15. And I've already done one, but I'll just break that to make it more simpler. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 so it goes over it and you'll basically want to do that all four sides coming off of that and then once you've done that you want to fill it all in but make sure it looks like this diamond here but you want to go 
all the way along just like this this is gonna take ages um especially if you're in survival um but it really shouldn't take you that long And then, so it looks like this, uh, but you want that on each four side. Now next you're gonna come to one like somewhere around the dispenser and then place one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like this. Then you want to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then go around just like this. But make sure on one side you wanna make sure just to place two extra there. You'll see why in a bit. And also a block going up and we will place a lever there so place the lever there and now what you want to do is place a comparator make sure that it's on subtract mode that's very important then place a repeater going all the way well a repeater i mean all repeaters on each block except from these last two on these last two you just want to place redstone dust and then carry on going along like this all the way to here where we place another redstone just just like this now you want to set all of these repeaters into four ticks by that you want to click on one two three one two three one two three one two three and want to do that for all of the repeaters this is basically a clock to give them um, time for all the mobs to spawn and now believe it or not it is done Yes, that was actually pretty quick in my mind, but it'll be even quicker for the video. I've just um, put some torches there so no mobs spawn underneath here. Uh, but what you can do is you can build a storage system under here. Now, if you don't know how to build a storage system, I'm not going to show you how to um, build one in today's video. But I'll leave a link to um, the video, the last Minecraft tutorial video, where we learned how to build a Minecraft storage system. So make sure you go click on that and watch it. So now... I need to make sure that my um, difficulty is actually on just normal, say. Let the mobs spawn, and then you can also flick this lever to turn on your brand new mob farm. Okay then, so this is the mob farm completed, but I'm just gonna show you, if um, you don't want to light up a bunch of caves, in your survival world what you basically just want to do is from um these repeaters say put a block there and then go up 128 in the sky and then once you've gone up 128 i don't think this is exactly 128 because i wasn't really counting so i don't really need to do this in a um super flat world but if you don't want to light up a bunch of caves, make sure to build up exactly 128 blocks. Put a bed there, put a chest in there, and then boom. And then all the mobs will spawn down here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to like it. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Uh, but yes, this has been Alpha. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Now you know how to build a mob farm, just like Mumbo Jumbo's mob farm. Uh, and yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye!